Boom. All right, let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. Yeah, so what I got for you today. Oh, yeah, we just did a review on the A122 like in the last week. Um, but what did I get today? B522. That's right. So we're bringing you the latest and greatest. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B522 coming in at 121 proof on the dot. Yeah. B522. So if you go back and watch the last review on A122, this is my least favorite Elijah Craig that, uh, that I've had. So I'm hoping that we are now back on track with B. So we will find out. Like I said, this is a, a fresh uncorking here so we'll pause for cork pop here on the elijah craig barrel proof you ready one two pop oh yeah america hell yeah all right so we're gonna pour that into the glass there and then of course as always here on bourbon quest we get a healthy two ounce pour into the infinity bottle What's that? This glow decanter's got to be replaced because it's not working out well. All right, we got that out of the way. All right, so, and we'll go back and probably visit some of these others uh, depending on what we think about this one. But usually, like I said, I mean, I just got the A122 uh, in the last week or two, maybe two weeks ago, I did the review a week ago, um, which is about typical. It seems like I tend to get them late. So I was really shocked when I came across this today uh, in my area that uh, I was able to get the B522 this quickly. So glad to be able to bring this to you. So, all right. Let's go into the nose here. Yeah, I get, I get the dark chocolate, peanut. I definitely get the ethanol, caramel, vanilla, baking spice. Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. Yeah, I get. Yeah, dark chocolate, mint, peanut, tons of peanut on this. I don't know. I mean, the nose is not seductive. It's it's not luring me in by any means. It's granted, it's it's a fresh crack neck pour, so. Not a fan of the nose on this one either. This is, well, man, let's hope the palate's better because. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Okay. Yeah, palate's much better on that. Yeah, definitely get that hog and get that, that chocolate. I get mint, peanut, caramel, vanilla. Man, let's go in for a second. See, I'm, I think it's better than A122 from what I remember. I'm going to compare them side to side here in a minute. But but still not coming through on, on the, the, the better of the Elijah Craig ones that I've had. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. I mean, it's good. It's still a good value. Let's compare it to the A122 because I was not a fan of the A122. I do think I like this one better than the uh, the A batch from this year. Yeah, this is the A122. So, yeah, that's good. So this one has now at least been opened up a week. I 
Notice it comes off more subtle. Maybe it's because it's had at least a week of the bear time. Yeah, I would say actually the nose is better on the A. Let's try the palette now. Because I was not a fan of this the first time. Yeah, I still think the B is slightly better. I mean, I think I told you. I mean, it's hard to say that these are a pass because they're still good values. I just don't think so far that either the A or the B batch um, live up to the typical Elijah Craig brand. Um, I mean, if you get them, I mean, it's still hard to pass them up at $65. I mean, because they are good, they just, in my opinion, these have been lackluster as far as my experience with previous batches go. That's all. So this is the A. Yeah, this is the B. I would definitely say, you know, if you're like me, I, mean, I pick these up within a couple weeks of each other. So if they're both available in your market and you gotta feel like you have to have one, I would say the uh, the latest, the, the B batch over the A. Although, I might still hold off for C batch. I mean, B was better than A, so hopefully C will be much better because Again, I don't think these are very indicative of my past experience with these. So let's go try some of the ones that I have had very positive reviews with. This is last year's A batch, A121, at 123.6 proof. That's good. That's that's indicative of the Eliza Craig brand. That that A122 crushes so far the two batches for the 2022 year. Now let's go back. The other one that I still have open. Oh, this one is the B521. So yeah, was that A121, B521? And this one I think I still like, although I think it didn't get a lot of fanfare because it was probably the, I think the lowest proof or one of it, not the, that they'd ever had at 118.2. Yeah, that's still better than both of these batches. I think it's really good. But if I were ranking these four, I would say it would be out of these four, A121, B521, then B522, and then last out of this grouping would be the uh, A122. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I think, uh, I'm hoping that the C922 is uh, head and shoulders better. Uh, been disappointed so far uh, in the 2022 series of the Eliza Craig, both the, the A and the B to be truthful. Um, although I will say uh, the B is better than A, but still not indicative in my opinion of, of uh, the two batches that I had from last year. I don't think I got the C batch last year, but, um, but the A and B batch from uh, 21 are far superior in my opinion than the uh, A and B batch for 22, 22. So let's hope and pray that the C batch is great. So, you know, I did larceny yesterday, Eliza Greg Barrel Proof today. It's, it's, been, it's been a good week. So, um, didn't necessarily have anything specific planned uh, prior to today, but then obviously, you know, I was gonna plan something, but then when I got this bottle today, it was a no brainer. Let's bring you 
a new review and tasting of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And again, uh, I'm hoping that the sea batches it comes through because these two do not are are, are inferior to the A and B batch from 21. All right. Well, hey. Also, if you've had these or if you agree or disagree, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think, Bourbon Quest. Always interested in your comments. If you haven't done so, go ahead and take a second. Hit that subscribe button up there. It doesn't cost anything. It helps the channel out. And, um, and then do yourself a favor. Ring the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss a single video because you never know what's gonna, what's, what we're going to find and what, uh, what we're going to put on video. Because, uh, like I said, I literally got this bottle this morning and brought it to you today uh, for, for your review so that you can hopefully make an evaluation on whether or not you think it's worth your money. I'd say, you know, it's a pass. I mean, it's still a good value, but I figure there's, I think there's actually better things out there that you can get for $65 or less um, and then just wait and, and see uh, if CBATCH delivers for this year. So, and also smash that like button. Uh, that helps the YouTube algorithms get the video out to more people and uh, so forth. But thank you, thank you for tuning in and for all your support. Love you, Bourbon Quest. And as always, I just want to close by saying that, as always, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Haha, <laughs> that's a wrap. Come on, Seabats. You're going to have to you're gonna have to pick these guys up to redeem redeem the brand, all right? Let's get it together. That's a wrap, yo.